John says, hello, sisters. I've been dating this guy for six months, even though I've known him for 19 months. He's a great guy, kind, loving, generous, supportive, which I believe were the reasons why I chose to date him. He has a very messed up past, which were against my morals at first, but I decided to overlook it. He recently decided to come clean about two important issues which I believe would have turned me off initially. These include addiction to smoking weed and having a baby. I really do like this guy a lot, but these two things keep haunting me. I want to know if I should go ahead with what my head is telling me by breaking up or I should follow my heart. Please help. Mansa, weed, <laughs> having a baby. Yeah. How big of a deal are those things? Okay, so um, so he said he would have, um, she would have, there was a particular yes, line. Yes, something like, um, if, if she found out if she earlier knew, on, basically she, it would have been a term so what, what of has a changed, deal breaker. What has changed now? Now she really likes him. She's gotten to know him beyond his bad habits. No, but I mean, six months is still a relatively young, t a long, um, shorter time yeah. to have liked somebody to that extent of you not letting your mind come before your heart. I mean, six months is still too short. She can get out if she wants to. But she, yeah, she no, love. She, it's uh, obvious, sister. right? <laughs> if you, you don't Rachel, like, <laughs> you don't like, <laughs> sister. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, if you don't like, you don't like. Yeah. You don't like people who smoke weed. You don't like people who, who have, have kids. kids. Are you ready to deal with the troubles of stepchildren? And for most girls, they don't like men who have kids Especially, and the, the main problem here is the other woman. Mm. You know, be, like, I don't like you because you have a child. It's not because of the child. Mostly, it's, you have to it's the, the other with, woman. Yeah. You know, so if it's something you don't like, I mean, six months is still relatively short. Mm. You can get out. Can you deal with somebody who smokes? You can't deal with it. And not just anything weed. Mm -hmm. you, you know, know Mary J? <laughs> Yeah. Mary J. You know. <laughs> I mean, he smokes, he comes close to you and you are choking. Mm -hmm. And in the name of what? I mean, it's not even sustainable. She can't. Mm -hmm. Because once you don't like it, you can't be with it. So me, I would feel, I, I feel that once she initially de um, declared that if she had known, she wouldn't have accepted. Now mm -hmm. you know. And it's still an issue, obviously. Yeah. That's why you've written to the show. Exactly. So leave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As simple as that. Yeah. Sabi, is it as simple as that? Leave? Uh, I'm going to give her three choices. Either change him, change yourself, or break up. Okay. We all know that you can't change another person, right? And so she's left to the two other options. Change yourself or leave. Which does she prefer? You know how I am. I don't like generally telling people to leave or stay. But that's, I'm putting that up to her. Change him, change yourself, or leave. It's been six months. Um, you're still getting to know this person. Um, you want us to give you permission to do something that you already know you're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, for it to stick and for it to mean anything, you have to decide. Think about it this way. If he never quits and you marry him, mm -hmm. is that something you'd be okay with? If he never quits, and he smokes weed till your dying days. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with him being high? You know, is that a deal breaker? If it's a deal breaker, then it's very simple. Uh, you talked about the children. That sounds like a deal breaker. So what do we do with deal breakers, right? Every human being has deal breakers when they go into a relationship and it doesn't even have to be romantic. It's friendships, it's family. We all have our boundaries, right? And so you have set your boundaries, follow through. That's what I have to say. All right. Apt. Perfectly Living. Perfectly <laughs> said. I mean, listening to Toby, my mind just went back to the stories my mom told me growing up as to how she met my dad. So she met my dad, everything was going on okay, and then she marries my dad. After she married my dad, she found out that my dad had kids after they got married. Wow. See, so we ended up having to live with a bunch of... Oh, all these kids in our house and I know what it's like to grow up with half siblings and I know what it's like to have their moms alive and influencing them negatively and my mom having to deal with the whole stepmother 
pressure of my 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 older siblings you know they have they, they, they they're going to secondary school they want necklaces they want this they want that and she didn't want to live with a whole stepmother stigma so she always had to make sure that they were comfortable and in doing that we got to get had we had to be sacrificed you see so that you know it doesn't come across like she's not doing what she's supposed to be doing and it was horrible it was terrible teenage girls who want to do have their life like you know any opportunity to make my mom look bad it's it's not a nice feeling so that's just you are lucky you're not married mm. it's just six months. six months like sweethearts everybody has standards everybody has levels everybody uh, everybody has expectations of what they want their partners to be like or what they expect in in relationships and clearly this guy smokes weed it's, it's, it's a deal breaker he has a kid with somebody else it's a deal breaker so what we tell you to go marry him tomorrow and then the next I mean he's high on weed and he's smoking and you guys have two kids and he's not being responsible and the kids are going to come into the relationship seeing that he high and then the next thing is, is, is gonna he's gonna come up with is or two or three other more secrets that you didn't even know before mm -hmm. like it's a complete mess sometimes yes we are in love but we should sit back and reflect and ask ourselves what what can we see the future like how can we see the future with this person if we decide to tolerate their their crap you see, like my husband like this when we're dating oh every time you see his socks he's this he's this but at the end of the day I'm like okay is he unfaithful to me does he love me to this? Does he treat me with respect? If it has to do with, you know, the toilet seat coming down and then and then his socks, like that's that's it's manageable. Manageable. Yeah. Like I can live with that. Even today I now have a son, so the both of them are lifting the toilet seat. Like I don't even notice those things. <laughs> Anymore, right? Anymore. Because yeah, now it's like our relationship has evolved over time to the extent whereby other things are much more important than the toilet seat being up or, you know, socks being somewhere, which, I mean, he doesn't even do now, you know. Um, so there are much more important things to deal with in relationships. And this is not the kind of mess you want for yourself. Always ask yourself, what environment am I going to find myself? Or what, 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 what condition am I going to be in with my husband before I even include kids into that situation? Because however we want to look at it, marriage means you know you want to procreate have children have people who didn't ask to be here into your life and charlie this is a whole lot of mess to deal with mm. and i don't think you want that for your for yourself and i don't think you should entertain that let it go mm. i don't see you you losing anything if you let this guy go and i think that if you if you read carefully she's she goes on about the fact that this guy is very loving and he's very kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Emphasis generous, on generous support and yeah. kind. So, you know, so he's are you hanging in there because of his money? Like, what are you ready <clears throat> to let go of just because of his money? Sweetheart, it's about time if you, you also become, you know, financially sound, whereby whenever you, you open up your life or your, your world to another person, it's not because of what they have and what they're coming to add to you. It's because you are, you are well-to-do and whatever they're bringing on board is to add value you 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 don't need them completely to survive without them you should be able to survive and you should be able to love whoever it is that is coming into your space irrespective once it's based on something then i don't think it's a relationship you should be on mm -hmm. in if you ask me so i think you should let it go um definitely follow your your brains because this one when he's high i really don't see anything <laughs> coming out of it i mean Charlie, yeah call a spade a spade i mean for me my biggest issue is the fact that um he hid the fact that he has a child. I have problems with people who hide children. Thank yes. you. Um, because I feel like they're a gift from God, you yeah. know, and um, I mean, irrespective of what kind of relationship you may have with, say, a baby mama or whatever, your children are yours. They're mm. your flesh and blood. Mm, you should blood. be proud of them, yeah. not hiding Regardless. them in some corner because yeah. you have a relationship, you know. And, and for me, that's like the hugest, the biggest red flag. Forget mm. the weed. The fact that he's hiding a human being what yeah. else is he hiding? And Thank like you. Olivia said, you know? <laughs> what other what things is he, is he hiding? Exactly. <laughs> I've heard stories of surprises. a guy who even came clean to this girl he was getting married to at the time. He has one child. Mm -hmm. Only for them to get married Christmas, the next Christmas, mm -hmm. knock on the door, Christmas morning, some other woman with he never man. mentioned with another child. Yes. Oh, I brought our child to him because he's <laughs> brilliant. We hear these stories all the time. Yeah. And no usually there's more way. than one. Yeah. So, um, my lady, I mean, uh, your, 
instincts and everything is t are telling you, like screaming mm. at you not yeah. to do this. Go with your head. Yeah. You'll not thank your us heart. later. 